Step one, wake up early, gon' rise with the sun. Step two, get some good, some food in you. Step three, think real hard about what you wanna be. Step four, fuck everybody, just do your thing. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. 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 Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be. Hello, everyone. Welcome to my channel. So today we are going to crochet this very cute pigeon. So I have listed the materials at the beginning of the video. So get your materials ready and let's get started. Okay, so we're going to start with the head and body and we are going to start with the magic ring and then six single crochets into the magic ring. So we'll do one, two, three, four, five and six then i'll pull my yarn to close the gap like that okay then i'll place my marker over here Okay, so now in the second row, we are going to increase every stitch around. So we'll have a total of 12 single crochets. So I'll go in the next stitch and do two single crochets in the same stitch. And then also increase the next stitch. And increase the next one. And increase the remaining three stitches. Okay, so now in the third row, we are going to, uh, to do single crochet, then increase, and we'll do that six times. So we'll have a total of 18 stitches. So we'll do single crochet, then increase in the next stitch, and then single crochet, and increase in the next stitch, and we'll continue repeating that all the way round. Okay, so now after that, now uh, in the next four rows, which is from uh, row four until row seven, we'll do single crochets all the way round. So we'll have a total of 18 single crochet in each round. So we'll continue uh, doing single crochets in this round. And continue doing single crochets all the way around and until you get to the seventh round. So I'll see when you're done with the seventh round. So that will start the eighth round together. Okay, so after the seventh row, this is how your work should look like, as you can see. So now we are going to start the eighth row. And in the eighth row, we are going to do single crochet, then decrease. And we we'll repeat that six times all the way round for a total of 12 single crochets. So we'll do single crochet and then decrease. And we'll repeat that again. So single crochet and decrease.
and repeat finger crochets and decrease and continue repeating that all the way round okay so after we are done with that now in the ninth row uh, we're going to do single crochet then increase and repeat that all the way around for a total of 18 stitches so we'll continue and do single crochet then increase in the next stitch and we'll repeat so single crochet and increase single crochet and increase and continue repeating that all the way round okay so now in the tenth row we are going to do two single crochet then increase and we repeat that all the way round for a total of 24 stitches okay so we'll do single crochet one two and increase and we'll repeat so two single crochets and increase okay and we'll continue repeating that all the way round okay so now after we are done with that now for the next five rows which is from round 11 until round 15 we are going to do single crochets all the way around in each row for a total of 24 single crochets in each row okay so we'll continue and do single crochets all the way around and you continue doing single crochets until you get to the 15th round so i'll see you when you're done with the 15th round so that we start the 16th round together okay so after the 15th row this is how our work looks like so as you can see i've already started stuffing so you should start stuffing because we're almost done okay so now we are going to start the 16th row and in the 16th row we are going to do two single crochet then decrease and repeat that all the way around so we'll have a total of 18 stitches okay so we'll do single crochet one two and then decrease And then we we'll repeat again so two single crochets and decrease and we we'll continue repeating that all the way round okay so when you get to the end now in round 17 we are going to do single crochet then decrease and repeat that all the way around so we'll have a total of 12 stitches okay so we'll start by doing single crochet and then decrease and repeat so single crochet and decrease single crochet and decrease and repeat that all the way round okay, so now in our last row which is the 17th row you're going to fully stuff your body like i already did with mine 
and then we are going to decrease all the way around so we'll have a total of six stitches okay so we'll decrease and we'll continue decreasing all the way round Okay, so when you get to the end, I'm going to remove my marker and then I'm going to slip stitch and cut off the yarn and then to finish off, I'm just going to continue pulling my yarn until we close the gap. Okay, and then I'm going to go here and pull up the yarn. Like that. And cut up the yarn. Okay, so this will be the head and this will be the body. Okay, so now let's make the wings. Okay, so for the wings, we are going to make two and we'll start by making a chain five and then starting in the second chain from the hook we are going to do single crochets all the way so we'll have four single crochets so starting from here we'll do single crochet and then single crochet single crochet in the next stitch and single crochet in the last stitch okay and then we'll do chain one and turn okay so now when we turn we are going to work in the back loop only of the previous uh, row so we'll do four single crochets in the back loop okay so we'll go we'll go into the back loop in the previous row and we'll do single crochet and then back loop of the next stitch do single crochet and the next one do single crochet and do single crochet in the last stitch okay and then after that we'll do a chain three so we'll do chain one two three and turn okay so now starting in the second chain from the hook so we'll skip this and start here we'll do single crochets all the way until the end so we'll have uh, six single crochets so starting from here we'll do single crochet and then single crochet in the next chain and then we'll do single crochets in the back loop of the next stitches so in the back loop we'll do single crochet and then single crochet in the next single crochet and single crochet in the last stitch like that and then we'll do chain one and turn 
Now in the third row, we are going to start by doing single crochets all the way through. So we'll have six single crochets and in the back loop only. So we'll go into the back loop, do single crochet, single crochet, and single crochets all the way to the end. Okay, so when we get to the end, we are going to do a chain three. So one, two, three, and turn. And starting in the second chain from the hook, we are going to do single crochets all the way to the end. So we'll have eight single crochets. So starting from here, we'll do single crochet and then single crochet in the next chain and we'll do single crochet in the back loop of the next six stitches so do single crochet single crochet and do that in the remaining four stitches okay so when we get to the end we are going to do chain one and turn and then we'll do single crochets all the way across so we'll have eight single crochets so in the back loop of the next stitch do single crochet single crochet and do single crochet in the back loop of the remaining six stitches okay so when we get to the end we are going to do a chain three so one two three and ten and then starting in the second chain from the hook we'll do single crochets all the way across so we'll have 10 single crochets so starting from here we'll do single crochet and then single crochet in the next chain and then we'll do single crochets in the back loop of the remaining eight stitches so do single crochet single crochet and continue all the way to the end okay so when you get to the end we are going to do a chain one and turn so now in the fifth row we are going to do single crochets all the way across in the back loop of the 10 stitches so we'll do single crochet in the back loop of the next stitch and single crochet single crochet and do single crochets all the way to the end okay so when we get to the end we are going to do a chain three one two three and turn okay so now starting in the second chain from the hook we'll do single crochet and single crochet in the next chain and we'll continue doing single crochet in the back loop of the remaining uh, uh, 12 stitches okay so we'll do single crochet in the back loop and continue all the way to the end and we'll have a total of 12 stitches okay so when you get to the end we'll do chain one and turn so now in the sixth row we'll do single crochets all the way to the end in the back loops only so we'll have 12 stitches until here so we'll continue and do single crochet in the back loop single crochet and single crochet and continue doing single crochets all the way to the end Okay, so when we get to the end, we're going to do a chain three. So one, two, three, and turn. And then starting in the second chain from the hook, we'll do single crochet. And single crochet in the next chain. 
and then we'll do single crochets in the back loop of the next 12 stitches so we'll go into the back loop and do single crochet and single crochet single crochet and continue doing single crochets all the way to the end okay so when you get to the end we're going to do chain one and turn so now we'll do single crochet in the back loop of the next 14 stitches which is all the way to the end so we'll go into the back loop and do single crochet then single crochet into the back loop of the next stitch and continue doing single crochets all the way to the end okay so when you get to the end we are going to do a chain four so one two three and four and turn now starting in the second chain from the hook we are going to do single crochets and single crochet single crochet in the next chain and single crochet also in the next chain and then we'll do single crochet all the way to the end uh, in the uh, in the next 14 chains uh, 14 stitches so we'll continue into the next back loop and do single crochet and back loop of the next stitch do single crochet and continue like that all the way to the end okay so when you get to the end i'm going to do chain one and cut off a yarn long enough for sewing Okay, and that is our one wing so now we are going to make the next wing exact the exact way we made this one okay and then now I'll show you how to make the tail okay so for the tail we are going to start with a chain 9 which I already did and now starting in the second chain from the hook we'll do single crochets all the way to the end so we'll have eight single crochets so starting from here we'll do single crochet and single crochet and we'll continue doing single crochets all the way to the end Okay, so when we get to the end, we are going to do chain one and turn. Okay, so now we'll do a single crochet like that all the way until the end over here. So we have six single crochets and we'll do in the back loop just like the way we did with the wings. So go into the back loop and do single crochets okay and continue all the way to the end okay so when we get to the end we are going to do a chain three so one two three and turn okay and then we'll do single crochets starting in the second chain from the hook and single crochet in the next chain and then we'll do single crochets in the back loop of the next stitches okay 
okay so continue all the way to the end so, okay so now when you get to the end we'll do chain one and turn and then we'll do single crochets in the back loops all the way to the end Okay, so continue doing single crochets to the end. Okay, so when you get to the end, we are going to do a chain three. One, two, three, and turn. Okay, so now we are going to do single crochet in the second chain from the hook. And single crochet in the next chain. Then single crochet in the back loop of all the remaining stitches okay so continue doing single crochets to the end okay so now at the end we'll do chain one and turn now in the fourth row we are going to do single crochet in the back loop of all uh, the stitches until the end so we'll do single crochets and continue all the way to the end okay so when you get to the end we'll do a chain three one two three and turn and starting in the second chain from the hook we'll do single crochet and single crochet in the next stitch and we'll do single crochet in the back loop of all the remaining stitches so continue all the way to the end so when you get to the end we'll do chain one and turn so now in the fifth row we'll do the same way we'll do single crochet in the back loop until the end so we'll do single crochet all the way until you get here at the end okay so when you get to the end we'll do a chain three one two three and turn and then in the second chain from the hook we'll do single crochet and single crochet also in the next chain and single crochet in the back loop of all the remaining stitches Okay, so continue all the way to the end okay so when you get to the end we'll do a chain one and cut off the yarn long enough for sewing okay so now we have our tail and we have our two wings and our little body so now let's put all the parts together Okay, so guys as you can see I've already attached all the parts together so what we do is first you ruffle the wings like this and starting at the very bottom that's where you start attaching your wings all the way up so we have the longer side up and the shorter side here at the bottom okay so you just use yarn and needle all the way up and same on this other side okay so as you can see they are on both sides like this okay the uh the distance depends on you how you want it to look like so as for me i wanted it to look um more like the body's flying as you can see okay and then after attaching the wings that's how they look like then we come for the tail and for the tail we count uh, from the bottom one two three four and in the fourth row that's where you attach the tail just like that 
as you can see okay so uh, that's quite easy so you can just use pins before you attach them just to make sure they are well aligned so you can pin it here and here and pin the other one here and here and pin the tail so that you make sure they are seated the way you want them to look okay and then here I just used um, a yellow yarn and embroidered the uh, then uh, what is it the beak and then after that I embroidered also the little legs over here using a yellow yarn and then I embroidered the eyes okay so first I did um, the beak and then the eyes just a few distance apart As you can see on the side of the beak here you count one stitch then embroider over here and then the same over here and uh, also for the legs I did them uh, in the uh, starting from the bottom one two three start in the third row over here and you count one two three four four stitches apart okay same for the eyes there four stitches apart so guys uh that's it for today and i also attached the for the kitchen so i'll just hang it in my car like that okay so guys if you have any questions you can ask in the comments below and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe until next time bye